Yeah, just a few hours ago, West Hartford police did identify that 89 year old victim. And we're also learning that incidents like this are on the rise across Connecticut. The town of West Hartford previously made traffic improvements at this intersection to calm traffic around a school. But around sunset Tuesday, police say 89-year-old Eugenia Urofsky was hit and killed near Boulevard and Whiting Lane. Christina Vickery walks dogs in this area. I am very mindful of when uh, cars are speeding, making sure the dogs are you know, not close to the road because, you know, Everyone's life is precious and we want to make sure everyone's coming home at night. The person who hit Miss Yurovsky fled the scene. Police believe a white sedan was involved. With crashes like this on the rise, town officials recently budgeted $100,000 to study every accident. Mayor Sherry Cantor says the hope is to then use federal infrastructure money for additional improvements. And making plans to make permanent improvements on certain roads and infrastructure changes. Amy Watkins is with the Transportation Department funded Watch For Me CT. She says about 70 pedestrians have been killed this year in Connecticut. That's nearly double what it was a decade ago. Something happened with COVID where people started speeding very, very fast. More often, uh, there's more aggressive driving, rage driving, um, and pedestrian deaths have just skyrocketed. This year is a new record. It's probably the highest in, in, in decades. Her message is slow down. Everybody needs to slow down. If you're driving the speed limit, you're better able to stop if there's or slow if there's any kind of emergency. And police are asking anyone in that neighborhood who has a video camera to contact them, a doorbell camera. They're looking for video of what they believe was a white sedan who fled that scene. We're live in West Hartford. Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61 News.